Hello cousins near and far. Welcome to my video, Random Inheritance in a DNA Study. A big problem I see in some online study groups are people being dismissed as descendants of a specific ancestor they don't match on a commonly inherited segment. And that's unfortunate because it's inaccurate. Let me show you why. We've already discussed random inheritance, chromosomes, segments, and centimorgans in previous videos. I'll put the links in the description box below so you can check them out if you haven't already. So here's the issue. We have a DNA study centered on an apex ancestor. This is the person all the people coming into the study believe they descend from. Now for example, say the bulk of the people match on chromosome 1. A few others come in and they match on chromosome 2. The people on chromosome 1 say, our segment represents the ancestor. You people on chromosome 2 don't match us. Therefore, you guys don't descend from our ancestor. That's a problem because they are forgetting one of the most crucial elements of genetic genealogy, random inheritance. They're also breaking hearts and creating confusion leaving people with heaps of research showing a paper trail to this ancestor. Now these poor people are scratching their heads and throwing their arms up in the air, thinking they made mistakes. But they likely did not. I'm not saying mistakes don't happen, because they do. And sometimes people refuse to hear it, because it hurts, because it's embarrassing, because it's a lot of time chasing the wrong rabbit. Let me demonstrate for you what I call the left arm, right arm analogy. My cousin and fellow genealogist, Brittany, over at Branches in Time Genealogy, she and I share an ancestor, John Baird, a Scottish immigrant that lived from about 1666 to 1755. And old John, as he is dubbed, is our most recent common ancestor. He is my eighth great-grandfather and her ninth great-grandfather. We both have solid paper trails and DNA matches, alongside chromosome maps, which I will get into in a later video, what initially caught us off guard was that my cousin cluster didn't match the same segments as her cousin cluster. What's a cousin cluster? It is a group of verified cousins along a specific branch, in this case, my Baird branch, that share a common ancestor along that branch. Of course, everyone from her cousin cluster matched everyone from mine to varying degrees. But why weren't they lining up as a whole? The answer was simple random inheritance. She inherited some segments from old John, while I inherited others. To visualize it, she inherited old John's left arm, while I inherited his right arm. Put us together, and we've found both of old John's arms. And it's here that you begin to see the foundation of the Lazarus tool over at GEDmatch. Check out the next video linked on screen, along with others you might find interesting. Links will also be in the description box below. Thanks for watching.